Hello and welcome to the Rainbow Liberation. I am your host Quentin and for this episode it's going to be a follow up episode for um, the Asian Student Association. This time I interviewed the Asian, Asian Student Association's advisor Rex May Penn and when we roll clip we're going to learn a little bit about the club and you're also going to learn a little bit about what it was like for him to be an immigrant at 8 years old um, from Thailand to um, here in the United States of America So it should be very interesting. Well, clip. See what I, see what he has to say. Can your name, please? Yep. And it's Rex May Penn. I'm the advisor for Asian Student Association here on campus. And what is the Asian Student Association in your own words? Where is it? What is it? Oh, the Asian Student Association is a student club that promotes and Asian culture and also try to do activities that are Asian related on campus. And um, now you're of course, um, you're of course a little older than the Asian student members. So. You, you grew up during the 80s? Yep, definitely. I grew up in Thailand and uh, I came in when I was eight. Oh. And so, uh, definitely in a refugee camp, so uh, <laughs> the, there's a big difference between here and uh, Thailand. So, but. Um, Did you experience any culture shock? I'm like. Oh, yeah, definitely snow. <laughs> snow? Language, uh, culture, everything. <laughs> when I came here, yep. But uh, it's fun, it's a great country, probably the best country in the world. Yeah. You're talking about USA? Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, and did you, do you feel that you experience a um, racism or um, bigotry growing up or ace today? Any, um... Oh, absolutely. It's just a process of you know, simulating and conforming to society. But there will always be doubters. And I faced a lot of you know, discrimination when I was growing up, but kind of just have to move on and you know, try your best. Yeah. I heard you say something about um, how Asian-related um, news isn't taught um, as much as other news. Yeah, you can see it in the curriculum. There, are basically, there's no Asian history that's being taught. Uh, there are a few uh, news about, like you know, Asian cultures and events that are going on. For example, like China is building the biggest transcontinental railroad in Africa, from the Atlantic to the Indian Ocean. But no one knows about it because that's not I certainly did. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of news that are relevant to. I'll to definitely us. Google that. Yeah, it's relevant to us, but we don't really know about it because it's not broadcast in the in the mass media. And. Um, I understand you're doing a hip hop event. Um, what other um, events do you have? Um, this we're only doing two events uh, this year, but last year we did four, and next year we'll probably do a few more. But a lot of our members are seniors, so we try to spend as much time mentoring and advising them and bringing them along so that they succeed. And that's our main focus at BCC. So, so I want to spend as much time with them as possible. Uh, and also just do a few events this year. Okay. Interesting. And Rex May does bring up a good point. Um, now I, I don't know personally about um, you know, the classes that um, Pursue Community College offers off the top of my head. Um, I wouldn't know about what classes they might offer associated with area Asian, excuse me, Asian um, culture or Asian history. Um, 
but perhaps perhaps um, Bristol Community College could um, could do with a few more classes um, relating to such topics, subjects. Um, and I didn't know about um, China building the transcontinental ra railroad in Africa. Um, that travels from the Atlantic to the Indian Ocean. Yeah, that's what he said. Um, and you know. I, I may do a little bit more research on that. You may see another episode um, of me covering that. Um, and it is interesting. You know, I, I'm not. I don't tune into the news all the time. I admit, but um, I do hear. And, you know, I, I do notice that people talk about um, other news talks um, you know, that aren't Asian really, whether it's not. North Creek, um, in Nepal, or um, you know, the whole thing in China, building that um, continental railroad from the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic. Um, you don't hear about that as much outside. Student Association. I certainly did. So, just food for thought, and until next time, um, next episode, I'm going to cover the Asian Student Association's hip hop show as promised, and it's going to be a very fun episode. So, stay tuned for that. But until next time, this is Quentin of the Rainbow Liberation sign off and take care guys.